Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Doc Training Web Series. Today, I'll be speaking more about Microsoft Graph API. So, how do you actually get the Microsoft Graph API data into Microsoft Power BI? So, recently, I came across a Microsoft Graph API through a Power BI custom data connectors documentation, and I was amazed by the amount of information that's provided by this API. Um, so. What I was doing is I, I came across a Power BI template where I can find all the Power BI users and their groups, right? So in this video, I'm trying to cover a bit about Graph API and how to extract data into Power BI. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So uh, just to give an overview of Microsoft Graph API, is, uh, it's a RESTful web API and we can use this to get access to data from Microsoft Cloud Services like Active Directory, SharePoint, OneDrive, and much more. Um, so you can find all of the information right from this website. So you just have to go to developer.microsoft.com slash en.us slash graph. So what one of the main benefits of this API compared to many other Microsoft API is that it's got a single endpoint and I could use this as a data source in my Power BI desktop, publish the model to Power BI servers and schedule the data source. So um, currently we don't have schedule Power BI custom data connectors, but once this feature gets implemented, I think it's a better to access Graph API using custom data connector, uh, which you can find in github.com. Uh, there should be some samples you can find out, right? Uh, which I will be publishing in my blog as well. Now let's do some demonstration. I mean, I'm just gonna show you how to get it done. So if you want to, you can extract data from this API using an OData connector. And the best place that I found to get started is obviously the Graph Explorer. So you just need to log in using the Microsoft credentials and then you get to this page, right? So now I have signed in to my Graph Explorer and you have options like what version 1.0 and uh, beta. Now, since they have two versions, but I found better as a better version than the 1.0. Uh, you can switch between versions easily in Graph Explorer and see what data is available in each version. So you can try that out as well. The user needs the right level of permission to get the access to the correct data. And these permissions are at a very granular level. I don't think I understood permissions really well, but you know, probably you can check out those permission information from the website. Now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna start get started. I'm just gonna put in better. I'm just gonna search. Okay, we have already have a query here. I'm just gonna run this query and see what it shows. Also, you can modify permissions. So you can see on my left-hand side, you just have to click on modify permissions. You can select the ones that you need. Uh, please know that, you know, Depends on the permission level, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, if you're an admin, you get access to all. If not, it's not gonna allow you all these permissions as shown over here. All right, so now I have, so it works, right? See, so I've generated response preview here. All right, just gonna type users because that's what I'm gonna do for today's video. I'm gonna explore the number of users in my system. All right, so that's what it shows up over here. Real nice, perfect. Now, next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna access Microsoft Graph API using Power BI. So I'm just gonna to go to my application, just simply hit on get data and then to the OData feed just need to give the URL. I just need to give a URL. Hit on OK. All right, so now I have my data imported to my Microsoft Power BI. Um, I can go to the report tab and I can, yeah, obviously select a table. And on my right hand side, I have different fields that I can select that needs to be displayed over here, right? 
just gonna click on view more and then that's great to go so i've selected job title department country phone and the zip code so what what i just did just had to copy the api url from the graph explorer paste on the o data free data stores and i used an organizational account authentication so yeah as you see here i've logged in with my credentials right again in my power bi and that's it i can see all my data that's flowing from my sharepoint so to summarize it's a fantastic data source and it gets more interesting with power bi and as i mentioned earlier i started playing with this api to get an overview of all power bi users one can get a lot of insights from this data source and i hope this is going to be useful for you as well you can play around um, that's it for my today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this please subscribe to our youtube channel my doc 365 and i'll be coming out more and more technical videos so stay tuned have a great day